Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick tech video. We'll be learning about one of my favorite redstone contraptions, T flip-flops. Let's get into it. So what is a T flip-flop? T flip-flop or a toggle circuit is a circuit that takes an input and turns it into a toggled on off output. Say, like say this button here. We press this button, the door opens and stays open, it's toggled on. And when we press it again, the door closes and stays closed so it's toggled off. This means in simple terms that we can take an input from a button or a detector rail like this and turn it into an output that's more similar to a lever or any other sort of constant pulse circuit. We note here that we can open the door from either side as, the, as a T flip flop allows a inputs from multiple different sources to toggle on and off. This has tons of implications in Minecraft Redstone. One example in survival is toggleable lights, like this. We can toggle them on, off, and they stay off, and we can toggle them on, and they stay on. You'll note tons of times when you're making Minecraft circuitry that this is extremely useful, and you'll and find tons of uses for this sort of circuit. So, you'll also note, obviously, that it works with piston doors. Let's get into some really simple builds. So let's get into our first T flip-flop build. You note this is a very simple design that's easy for most beginners to understand. Take an input from here, it runs through a, a one-tick monostable circuit here, which will have a link to a card explaining more about monostable circuits and also a link in the description. Take that one tick from there into this piston here. The one tick into a sticky piston means it'll spit the block out over this redstone torch, which will power the output. Have a look, it's easier to see when it's actually running. You press this button, one tick, piston spits its block out because it's only one tick, and it powers the output. Press the button again, and you see it toggles back off. So it toggles on from one input and toggles off from another. So let's get into building this really simple design. Take an input from a button like this, a repeater here, a sticky piston facing up with a block on top, repeater running out of that block, into another sticky piston with a block facing like this. Then we place a, a power source down here, so a source like this, and we take our output from here into whatever we want. Press this button like this on a stable circuit, clicks the block out, powers the output, and toggles with every input. So let's get into a second really quick design that is also silent quite a bit more complicated. So you take an input from a button like this, unlocks this repeater and toggles the output. Same thing happens on the uh, second pulse and it toggles the output again. So take, let's get into the build. Take an input like this, block, redstone torch on one side, with a repeater on one tick, repeater on four ticks, another repeater on four ticks, connect those with redstone dust, run, that into a, run the blocked re repeater into a block with a redstone torch, and then we take our output from this redstone torch. So you press the button, and the output toggles. You have to make sure with this design that it's a stone button, but otherwise it's really, really simple. So let's get into the third and final design. Now this design makes use of, again, pistons, so it's obviously not silent, but it makes use of one tick pistons that spit out their block. So you know, you push it like this, and on the falling edge of the pulse, it spits out its block and powers the output. So this is what's known as a falling edge T flip-flop. You can change the design slightly if you break these. Place a piston here, with a redstone block here, and you've got a rising edge uh, T flip-flop. And you'll note here, this is just a rising edge monostable circuit for being a falling edge. So this design is also really simple. We take an Sticky piston facing across like this, observer facing up, and if we want a falling edge, we'll place the piston, a, another sticky piston facing across here with a redstone block, take an output from the end where this redstone block will end up, and put our input here, and on the falling edge, we get a toggled pulse. Simple as. Thanks so much for watching this quick tech video on T flip flops. I hope you learned something that you can actually take to your own redstone. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments or check out some of my other quick tech videos that might be able to solve your problems. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you all soon.